Kurg or Kodagu is one of the most popular destination of Karnataka state. It is very much well known for coffee plantation, spice plantation as well as the waterfalls. Let's check out some of the attractions that we visited in Kurg. We book a train for rupees 250 per head from Vadodara to Bandra and then we book a flight from Mumbai to Bangalore for rupees 2450. There are many ways to reach to Kurg, so we chose Bangalore to Kurg via Mysore. After deciding the route, we booked this train from Bangalore to Mysore for just 95 rupees per head and then we took a cab for rupees 2500. For our stay, we chose Hostel a Hostel, which is located in Sunte Kopa. The dorms here are just for 650 rupees per night and we stayed here for 3 days. It also has the attached cafe with it and the taste is just amazing. It's a must try. So our first destination we visited was Abbey Falls. Abbey Falls is located 8 kilometers away from Madikeri city and in order to see the waterfall we have to take few steps from the entry gate. The entry here is totally free and you can see beautiful trees over here and you can take amazing photos. So this is the site of the beautiful waterfall. Even the bridge was there in front of it but it's been broken so it's been closed now. It's not in use. Our next destination we visited was Chellavera Waterfalls. So Chellavera is located in the small village of Virajpet, which is 38 kilometers away from Madikeri. So in order to reach the waterfalls, we have to track for about 2 to 3 kilometers and the roads here are very much rocky, bumpy. So make sure you wear proper shoes. Here you can see the pathway is also very much narrow. So you make sure that whenever you visit during monsoon, you take extra care while walking through such trials. So we finally reached the waterfall and there is very little space to get down and I also forgot to take the video of the waterfall so I have attached some of the photos. So it's day 2 and it's morning 4 am. We are visiting magnificent place that is Mandalpati. Mandalpati is 13 kilometers away from Madikeri. Mandalpati is very much well known for the sunrise spot and even people do visit the sunset. So while going to Mandalpati, we saw lots and lots of stars above and it was an amazing sight. It is recommended that one must visit this place and should not miss it. So let's go. So we are finally in the jeep and we paid 2500 rupees to that jeep person to take us to the peak. Here the roads are very much bumpy so you make sure that you place every delicate thing inside your bag. I already broke the tripod mount so be careful. We 
we had to pay 250 rupees as an entry fee to the forest department and after the entry we have to walk about a kilometer or a two in order to reach the sunrise point So next destination was Namroli Monastery. It is located 34 kilometers away from Madikeri. So it is also known as Golden Temple. And here the paintings are really amazing, really mesmerizing. You can see lots and lots of uh, spiritual stuff if you want to buy. There are good cafes over here. There's a great Tibetan market, and the incense I have bought were amazing. I have attached some of the pictures over here. So after visiting the monastery, we are heading to the Dubara Elephant Camp. So Dubara Elephant Camp is located 28 kilometers from Madikeri. So to reach to the camp, we have to cross the river Kaveri. They have prepared a temporary narrow pathway over here. We have to cross it and we have to visit to the camp. Here, the water is very much clean. We can see the fishes. We can see the beautiful stones, and you can also see the beautiful sunset from here. When we reached the camp, we saw the elephants were quite tired. They were tied up, and it was not a wonderful sight to visit to them. So yes, the localites suggested us to visit the Harangi camp instead of the Dupara elephant camp. It was not worth the visit. After visiting the camp, we reached to Rajasir point. Rajasir is very much popular to see the sunsets. Here, the entry is just twenty. And it is just located 1.6 kilometer away from Madikeri. Here it has a beautiful garden where lots and lots of flowers are there, and you can also see the fountain show. Our next spot was coffee plantation visit hill mountain view it is located 6.2 kilometers away from madikeri now kurg is very much well known for lots and lots of coffee plantation and spice plantation you can choose any of them but we chose this because it was just near to santikappa we paid 200 rupees as a visit fee and the guide explains us everything about the coffee plantation how the coffee grows as well as the spice plantation and many of the herbs which they are growing over here This property has prepared two beautiful mountain view spots so if you want to take wonderful pictures and you want to see a wonderful view for sure this coffee plantation visit is a must
waterfalls there is a wonderful big cup cafe here the pizzas and mocktails are a must try and the interior is just wow So we are heading to the Malali Waterfalls. Malali Waterfalls is located in Somwar Pet Village and it is 52 kilometers away from Madikere. The roads of Somwar Pet are so beautiful, so clean and the village is so calm and peaceful. Whenever you visit to Kurg, make sure you are visiting Somwar Pet. It's a heaven. So after two hours of long drive, we finally reached our destination that is Malali Waterfalls. The entry here is totally free and in order to see the waterfall, we have to cross down the 700 steps trail. Later we found that due to covid accident the waterfall is already barricaded and we have to cross down only 150 to 200 steps to see the site. Here it was not worth the visit because we could hardly see the waterfall as well as the site also. So after 3 days of trip to Kork, we headed to UDP because we had to catch the train from here. Here we visited the Malpe beach and it was just amazing. UDP is very much famous for its South Indian food so we tried some of the dosas over here. And the juices are also amazing. Make sure whenever you visit to Malpe Beach, you try out this restaurant. Our next destination was St. Mary's Island and it is located at Malpe Beach itself. We have to take a boat ride over here in order to reach to the island and we paid 400 rupees per person. The boat ride over here is amazing. The site is amazing. So make sure you do not miss this out. So we finally reached the island and it is very much well known for seashells. Make sure you collect them and we just get one hour in order to reach to the boat pack as 400 rupees are for two way. So after visiting the island we were quite tired so we visited the fisherman's cafe here we tried all the mocktails and there are many options for veg and non veggies our last and final destination was seawalk malpe it is located at malpe beach itself we came here to visit the sunset and it was just the amazing sight here there are lots and lots of food stalls to try it out and there are lots and lots of sculptures you can click amazing photos
एट लास्ट आई हैव ऑल्सो अटैच माई ट्रैवल एक्सपेंसिस एज वेल एज द अदर टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन इन कोर्क